Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to Amazon Sambo Summit and the masterclass on Amazon Global Selling. Uh, my name is Ashin. I'm the regional sales manager for the Global Selling program. So uh, in today's session, we will talk about the Amazon Global Selling program and how to take your local products global. Uh, during the course of the session, if you have any question and uh, questions or queries, please feel free to ask them in the Q&A tab below. So uh, in today's session, um, we will start with a quick introduction and an overview of what Amazon Global Selling is all about. Uh, we will also look at the growth journey of Amazon Global Selling that we have had so far. Then uh, we will move on to the need for global selling or the benefits and the advantages of global selling. In the third segment of today's session, uh, we will look at the operational elements of global selling and how to get started with the global selling program. And in the fourth and the final segment, we will go through some of the successful sellers we have had in the global selling program and their testimonials. So let's start with the first segment, which talks about uh, what global selling is all about. So what is Amazon Global Selling? So Amazon Global Selling is a program uh, that enables you to sell your locally manufactured goods across Amazon marketplaces around the globe. So uh, currently there are 17 Amazon marketplaces where you can sell your products on. Uh, these include US, Canada, Mexico, uh, in North America, Brazil and South America, eight countries in Europe, uh, UAE and Saudi Arabia and Middle East, and in Asia, Australia, Singapore, and Japan. Uh, all of these marketplaces put together gives you access to more than 300 million customers in over 200 countries, right? So um, if you need to know further about the uh, program as such, you can visit the link that is mentioned on the top, uh, the bottom left corner, which is www.amazon.in slash global. So if you were to look at the journey of global selling so far, we started sometime in 2015 with a few hundred sellers. And over the next couple of few years, we increased that seller count to 23,000 plus sellers. So that's the seller count we had in 2017, 23,000 selling across nine marketplaces uh, all over the world. And if you look at the graph uh, on the slide that's on your screen, you can see the growth journey that we have had till 2020. So in 2020, we exited with more than 70,000 sellers selling across 17 marketplaces uh, around the world, right? So uh, since 2015 until now, we have crossed many milestones in our journey so far. Some of the key milestones are uh, in 2017, uh, we launched the Diwali store on Amazon.com. Uh, this was an exclusive store on Amazon.com that was set up to showcase uh, Indian products and ethnic products which are relevant to the Diwali time period, right? And this store is something that we have been running year on year and it has seen immense traffic every year. Uh, the next milestone in 2018, we enabled uh, the service provider network also known as SPN. So uh, service provider network uh, is a uh, network of third party service providers. So uh, the SPN uh, provides uh, that facility so that uh, sellers can easily identify and avail services of these third party service providers. Uh, the services with respect to compliance, taxation, shipping and account management and all the other elements that are related to global selling. So this is a simple to use portal that enables EC identification and uh, uh, utilization of these uh, services that are provided by the service partners. In 2019, we crossed the major landmark of $1 billion in cumulative exports. And after that 2019, within a short span of one year, we were able to double this to $2 billion in cumulative exports by 2020, right? Uh, now that we have touched this uh, landmark milestone of two, uh, two billion dollars in cumulative exports, what next? So uh, our overall vision uh, for the global selling program is to multiply this two billion dollars in cumulative exports by 5x and touch the landmark figure of 10 billion dollars in cumulative exports by 2025. Uh, now that we have gone through a brief overview of what global selling is all about, 
uh, we will get into the next segment where we are going to look at what are the benefits and the advantages of the global selling program so uh, if you look at india's uh, overall export scenario uh, india's overall merchandise exports value touched 330 billion dollars in 2019-20 which is a growth rate of around 8.75 percent right so this strong growth shows the strong demand for indian products across the world and thereby shows the opportunity for the global selling program this is also the global selling program is also your opportunity to be part of this export growth story now what are some of the key benefits of the global selling program um, as discussed in the previous slide, uh, sellers who are part of this program uh, get access to uh, more than 300 million customers across 200 countries. Uh, the additional critical benefit there is these sellers can take part in seasonal or sales events in each of the marketplaces where they are present in. So uh, some of the uh, seasonal or the sales events are uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday in US, Singles Day in Middle East, etc. And there are sales events that happens during various periods of time throughout the year in multiple marketplaces. So uh, imagine uh, your business uh, getting the benefit of sales events, multiple sales events in multiple marketplaces throughout the year, right? Similar to let's say the Diwali sales period in India. So you can just imagine the impact it will have on your overall business. Uh, the other key benefit uh, of the global selling program is that uh, through this program, you can expand uh, your global business by utilizing Amazon's well-established network of uh, warehouses and logistics partners, right? So what that uh, technically means is you can run your global business through an uh, OPEX model uh, rather than investing capital in terms of uh, physical stores or logistics network uh, in global uh, countries, which is uh, which would be the traditional way you otherwise would have expanded your global business. So basically, global selling program uh, lets you uh, run your business in an OPEX model instead of a CAPEX model. Moving on. On your screen, you can see uh, uh, some of the top Indian brands uh, that are owned by Indian MSMEs and Indian sellers that have become successful through the global selling program. And as you can see, uh, there is a varied range of brands across multiple categories on the screen. So you have uh, Clifton Heritage or Estelon, which is in you know, leather goods, wallets, belts, etc. Uh, you have Mayfair, Mayfair Linen, you have Thread Spread, you have California Design Den, which are primarily into bedding, allied bedding products, home textile products. You have Jack in the Box, which is into toys and games. Uh, you have Wow Skin Science, uh, which is into beauty and personal care products. Uh, you have Wadham Tees, which is into, which is currently a uh, more than 100 crore brand in India, which is primarily into uh, the premium tea segment. In addition to the brands uh, that we currently saw, uh, these are some of the top and popular brands in India with high recall value, which, which these brands are currently utilizing the Amazon's uh, e-commerce channel or the e-commerce exports channel uh, to expand their business globally. And they have been doing it very successfully over the past few years. Some of these brands are Amul, Titan, Dettol, Himalaya, Viva, Haldirams, Liberty, and High Design. Moving on. Amazon Global Selling Propel. So Amazon Global Selling Propel is a specialized program within the Amazon Global Selling Program that is specifically targeted at brands and startups, right? So uh, as part of this program, uh, brands and startups, in addition to the benefits of global selling that we spoke about before, they can leverage additional uh, benefits such as participation in educational events, participation in marketing events, connect with industry exports, connect with brand exports, and access to tools and services that will help them scale their brand across the world, right? So this is a new initiative that we started uh, sometime in 2020. And as part of this Amazon Global Selling Propel, uh, we launched the new initiative of Amazon Global Selling Propel Accelerator in Jan 2021. 
so uh, this is a specialized program uh, which is targeted primarily at startups so this initiative was started in tie up with startup india so uh, the startups who uh, took part in the initiative or the program uh, they they had uh, they had the benefit of additional levers such as uh, one is to one mentorship with the amazon leaders and industry experts uh, connect with potential investment partners and the top 3 startup uh, top 3 startups who registered for the event they stood to win equity free grant of a total of $50000 so this is a recent initiative that we have started in 2021 which has picked up really well okay um, now that we have uh, discussed about the global selling program and the benefits and the advantages of the program uh, let's take a look at the operational elements of a program or uh, of the program and uh, how to get started with amazon global selling so uh, the first step towards uh, starting in your uh, global selling journey is in terms of identifying the selection so when i talk about selection it's about identifying the products from your catalog uh, that you would want to sell across global marketplaces uh, once your selection is finalized, the next step is in terms of registering yourself as a seller on Amazon, right? And then listing your products. So uh, registering yourself as a seller on Amazon uh, gives you access to the Seller Central portal, uh, which is the portal that you'll be using uh, throughout your global selling journey to manage your business end to end, right? So once you have access to the portal, you can list your products. So when I talk about listing your products, uh, it's about entering the details of the products that you would want to sell and also creating product detail pages. So product detail page is what the customers see when they browse products on Amazon or uh, any of the Amazon marketplaces. And for all the products that you would want to sell, you will have to list that product and create detail pages, which is basically the second step. Once uh, your registration and the listing is done, the uh, next subsequent the next step is in terms of shipping your products to Amazon warehouse. So um, for this, uh, let's say for example you want to sell on Amazon.com. So uh, basically, this step would involve shipping your products from your warehouse that is in India uh, through any logistics partner to the Amazon warehouse that is there in US right for uh, for this logistics part of it you can uh, uh, the amazon service provider network provides a list of logistics partners that amazon has tied up with which you can avail the services of now uh, once the products reach amazon warehouse amazon basically stores these products uh, in the warehouse and your products go live on the uh, platform or the marketplace and customers can see your product so once uh, so uh, once your products are live on the platform customers browse through the product and if they place order on any of the product what happens is amazon's uh, uh, fulfillment services they will pick up the product from the amazon warehouse and they will do the end-to-end -end delivery to the customer doorstep so the entire logistics bit from amazon warehouse to the customer delivery part through this mode is taken care by amazon and the last step in the entire process is once uh, I mean, uh, whatever products get sold on the platform, uh, you get the payment for that in your local bank account in Indian rupees. So this slide basically summarizes the end-to-end -end steps that are involved in your global selling journey uh, or launching on global selling, which primarily starts with selection. Then you register yourself, list your products, you send your products to Amazon warehouse, the products become live on the platform, customers order the product, Amazon fulfills the product from Amazon warehouse to customer and you receive payment in your local bank account. So it's a very simple end-to-end -end process. In the subsequent slides, we will uh, look at each of these steps in detail. The first step is registration, which is basically enrolling yourself as a seller on Amazon for which you will have to provide certain basic details and payment information. Uh, once the registration is done, you list your products or create product detail pages for your products then you choose the delivery option or the mode in which you want to send the inventory. Let's look at registration process in detail. Uh, the requirements for registering yourself as a seller on Amazon is what is displayed on the screen. Uh, you will need an email ID. You will need a credit card which has international transactions enabled. Uh, you will need to enter the details of your valid business address. And if you plan to sell in Europe or Middle East, you will need to have your value added tax number or ID, which is registered there. 
So these are basically the four basic requirements that are required for registration. Now, once you are registered yourself, the next step is in terms of uh, creating listings of your product. So uh, as I mentioned before, listing creation is all about creating the detail page for your products or the details that you need to display to customers. So uh, customers visit detail pages and depending on the content that you display on the detail pages, they make their purchase decision. So uh, some of the critical elements uh, of a detail page are uh, what is displayed on the screen, which is basically high quality images and videos if possible, the pricing of the product, bullet points, product titles, keywords and product description. Uh, it's very critical to have high quality listing for your products because this is uh, this is what customers see or understand uh, about your product and their entire purchase decision is primarily dependent on what they see on these product detail pages. Now, some of the global marketplaces, they require the listings to be in the local language of that marketplace, right? So Amazon has this robust mechanism of automatic translation. So for example, uh, let's say that you want to list your products in Germany. Uh, what you can do is you can use the existing listing in English that you have and migrate that listing onto the German marketplace. And Amazon has this automatic translation mechanism, which will translate all the relevant details into the German language, right? So this is something, this is a facility that uh, almost all of our sellers use to expand their uh, global business when they go uh, into a multi-marketplace business model. Okay, now let's get uh, discuss a bit on the fulfillment uh, modes that we have. So primarily there are two modes of fulfillment. The first mode of fulfillment is what is known as fulfillment by Amazon or commonly known as FBA. Uh, what this typically means is what we discussed in a couple of slides before, where you send your inventory from India and store it in the Amazon warehouse in the destination marketplace. When customers order the products on the platform, Amazon handles the logistics of getting the product picked up from the warehouse and delivering it to the customer. So this is what is called fulfillment by Amazon. The other mode of fulfillment is what is called merchant fulfill network. Here what happens is the onus of delivery of the product from your warehouse to the customer is entirely on the seller. Right. So what typically happens is if you are selling your products in merchant fulfill network mode, the products would typically be in your warehouse. When customer places the order, you will have to arrange for logistics to ship the product from your warehouse to the customer. And you will also have to take care of the return logistics in case customers return the product. Right. So from a global selling perspective, we strongly recommend the first mode of fulfillment, which is the FBA mode. Uh, uh, because if your products are stored in Amazon warehouses or are in the FBA mode, then these products are eligible for Amazon Prime benefits, which is the most important prime benefit is two days delivery. So once the customer places the order, Amazon will ensure that the product is delivered to the customer within two days. So that's one of the critical advantages that uh, the FBA provides. And it is also one of the deciding factors when customers make a purchase decision. So from a global selling perspective, uh, as I said before, we strongly recommend the FBA mode of fulfillment. Now let's talk about linked accounts, right? So linked accounts is a feature uh, that provides a uniform selling experience across Amazon's international marketplaces for sellers. So uh, for example, uh, let's say that you are already selling on Amazon.in or any of the other marketplaces of Amazon. If you want to expand your business to any of the other global marketplaces, all you have to do is you need to access the seller central portal that you are currently using for your Amazon.India account or any of the other accounts. And from that account, you will directly be able to link your existing account to any of the new international marketplaces, right? So you don't have to go through the entire process of uh, uh, the entire process that you went through when you initially registered for Amazon.in. Once you're already registered there, the linking of accounts to additional marketplaces is fairly simple through the Seller Central account. So once uh, your accounts or the international accounts are linked, uh, you can migrate uh, your existing listings that you already have 
to the destination marketplaces and start selling globally. So uh, if you are already a seller on any of the marketplaces, expanding your business to any of the additional marketplaces is fairly simple through linked accounts. Now there are some advantages associated with linked accounts. The key advantage is that uh, all of your accounts or all of your uh, accounts related to uh, uh, different marketplaces are accessible through a single seller central account or the portal. So you don't need to have multiple login IDs, multiple passwords for each of the international marketplaces. You will be able to see and manage all of your accounts through a single portal. Uh, the additional benefit uh, that is there is uh, if you are selling uh, across multiple marketplaces through the linked accounts, then uh, you get a steep discount on the subscription fee, depending on the marketplaces that you are selling, right? So uh, again, uh, for almost all of the existing sellers, uh, this is probably the easiest route to expand their business globally and many of the almost all of our uh, international sellers who are already selling on Amazon.in use this linked feature to expand their business. Now, uh, let's move on to the uh, final segment uh, uh, and uh, in this segment what we are going to do is we are going to take a look at a couple of our uh, top sellers. Uh, who have seen immense success through the global selling program and they have their testimonials in their own words. Right. So first we have uh, SVA Organics. SVA Organics is a seller from Delhi uh, and the seller has been selling on uh, Amazon Global Selling Program since 2017. Uh, they are primarily into beauty and healthcare products. They manufacture products like essential oils and facial oils. Uh, they, this brand has seen a disproportionate increase in sales. They were initially doing $1,500 per day, which gradually increased to $15,000 per day. And currently they are on track to doing $50,000 per day, right? Uh, in the words of Parisha Goenka, uh, here is the testimonial. I'll just pause for a minute uh, for you guys to go through the, read through the testimonial. Moving on, uh, California Design Den uh, is a homegrown Indian brand based out of Mumbai, uh, which deals in bedding, aligned bedding and home textile products. And uh, they have been selling globally across North America, Europe, Middle East and multiple other marketplaces on Amazon, right? Uh, they are one of our top sellers. They have scaled their business into a multi-million dollar business on the platform. And uh, you can see the testimonial, testimonial from Deepak Mehrotra on the screen. Again, I will pause for a minute so that you can read through it. So uh, that's all we have on Amazon Global Selling for the day. Uh, before uh, we wind up, uh, kindly requesting everyone to uh, share your feedback in the feedback section below so that we can serve you better. Uh, also, please take a note of the link that is mentioned on the screen, www.amazon.in slash sell global. If you want to know further details of the Amazon Global Selling Program and if you want to register and get started on the Global Selling Program, please ensure that you visit this site. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye.